Bonjour Jenny engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to do a problem on environmental. We're going to calculate BOD, which stands for biochemical oxygen demand. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay, so before we start, I just want to say I actually got the same exact question on my FE exam. And so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So make sure you understand it very well. Okay, so we are giving a wastewater treatment plant is processing a waste flow of a with a three day BOD of 100 milligrams per liter at 20 degrees Celsius. Now we have a decay concentrate K at three days is 0.13 per day. We need to find BOD at five days in milligrams per liter and we're giving K at five days, which is 0.25 per day. So the first thing I would do if I get this type of question is I would type in on the NCS handbook BOD and then see where it takes me. So if you do that, it's you're gonna get to page 190 and on here you have the equation for BOD. Then you're going to look at it and just try to analyze it. So BOD at three days we have, but at five days that will, that's what we need to find, but it's okay. Maybe we can rearrange this equation and then maybe we can solve it. L naught we don't have, uh, but we do have K for three days and for five days, both were given to us and we have time, which is three days and five days. So we could use this equation, we could work with it. So let's write it down first and then we can uh, work from there. Okay, so let's write the equation for three days. So we have BOD is equal to L naught times one minus E to the power of minus uh, K is 0.13 per day times T, which is three days. As you guys notice here, I like to write the units so that way I can cancel them out and it also helps me prevent doing any mistakes. So it would be great if you guys get into the habits of doing the same thing, it will help you or save you a lot of time during the exam. Okay, so let's do the same thing, but this time for five days. So we have BOD at five is equal to L naught times one minus E to the power of minus K is 0.25 per day times five days. So what we can do here is use the rule of three. So we can multiply this term by this term and we can multiply this one by this one. So this problem, I found that it is more based on math than environmental. So just be ready in the FE exam you might need to use all the math skills that you have and apply it to a different discipline. So just keep that in mind. So let's start multiplying. So we have VOD3 times this term. So I have L0 times 1 minus E to the power of minus 0 0.25 times 5. I'm, I'm not going to write the units anymore because they cancels with this. So they just cancel. So um this term is equal to BOD at five days times again we have L naught times one minus E to the power of minus 0 0.13 times three. Okay, so the next thing we can do is try to solve for BOD5. So let's rearrange this equation and solve for this term. So we have BOD5 is equal to, so I have VOD3, and then I have L0 times 1 minus E to the power of minus 0 0.25 times 5, divide that by L0 times 1 minus E to the power of minus 0 0.13 times 3. So this term cancels with this term. And now I have BOD, which is 100 milligrams per liter times one minus E to the power of minus 0 0.25 times five. And then divided by one minus E to the power of minus 0 0.13 times three. 
if you plug in this in your calculator you should get an answer of 221 milligrams per liter so um so that is your answer and that's answer a so if you got the correct answer congratulations if not it's okay just practice more try to understand this problem and just keep in mind that when you're doing the every problems just try to use all the knowledge that you have and apply it to be able to solve the problem i hope this was helpful guys okay guys so make sure you do the problems before you actually look at the solution because the best way to learn something is by doing it remember a problem a day keeps the f away and if you guys have any questions please leave it in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon à la prochaine oh yeah,